Hi guys, and welcome back to another YouTube video. So Christmas is just around the corner and I wanted to do a little holiday fun look. Um, I just picked up this holiday set from Dose of Colors. It comes with these three gorgeous, gorgeous tones. I almost dropped there. We got Bittersweet, Strawberry Pop, and extra saucy being the darkest one. I'm gonna be using the Kat Von D Sinner Saint, Saint palette. This palette is so good. Look at all those colors. Woo! I'm also gonna be using this Lorac Pro. Look at these colors. So I'm gonna start off by doing my brows. Uh, I always have a different technique. So I'm just gonna skip through this real quick. Okay, so now that my brows are done, I'm going to go in with this MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And I'm going to apply that all over my lid. I do have a lot of freckles, as you can tell, um, but I also have them on my eyelids. And this stuff definitely helps cover them up because they can easily make my eyeshadow look blotchy. With my Lorac palette, and I'm going to pick up this color, Crep right on the corner. Now I'm gonna apply that all over my lid. Focusing on the area above my lid. Now I'm gonna pick up the color right next to it, Toffee, using the same brush. And adding that right on the crease. So going in with the Kat Von D palette, I'm gonna pick up this color right over here. And again, just trying to keep it on the crease as much as possible. I'm not bringing it too high up. I'm going to pick up this one right over here. This one's a Morphe M507. And I'm going to go ahead and pick up this dark brown over here. I try to use my hand to take some of that color off. And then slowly, let's start at the corner. Slowly apply that on the crease and just gradually bring it up. Okay, going back with the fluffy brush, I'm gonna go back and pick up this color again. Right on top of that dark shade. Now I'm looking for like a flat brush like this one. This one came with the Naked 2 palette, so I'm going to be using that flat side. And I'm going to be picking up Cathedral right there. That nice gray eyeshadow. I'm going over the crease, I'm just not going any higher than that. Does that make sense? I'm not trying to do a cut crease look, so it doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, you could do a cut crease if you wanted to, but I'm not going to be doing that. Now, right above that, I'm going to go with this color, Heaven, and I'm just going to layer that silver on top of this gray just to make it pop a little more. Again, not trying to be super clean about it, but I am trying to concentrate on the center area so it stands out a little more. I'm cleaning off my little brush, my, my first brush, so that I can just go on the crease and try to blend everything together. So I'm gonna be applying a little bit of glitter. The glitter I'm using is a little chunky, so I'm not going to be applying too much. I'm going to apply a little bit of glitter glue, like barely anything. I'm going to pick up that glitter. I'm using this white glitter, but it, it has like hints of blue and green and purple. I'm just putting it all over being a little messy with it. 
Going back with this tiny tapered brush and picking up this dark brown same thing. Just gonna darken this area a little bit. I'm gonna be using this cucumber water cleansing water, this cucumber cleansing water with a little cotton round, just to remove some of that glitter fallout. Okay, I'm gonna spritz my face with a little bit of rose water. apply my foundation I'll be using this bedellium tool number 957 it's a little flat head use this Maybelline fit me concealer And I'm going to blend all of that using my Morphe 10 brush. Then back with my foundation brush. Then I'm using this Bedellium Tool 785 for my nose. Now, I do want to brighten my under eyes a little bit, so I'm going to be using this um, Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. And again, with my number 10, just blending that in. I'm going to spritz a little rose water. Perfect. Let's go back with our eyeshadow and using this fluffy brush that we were using earlier. And I definitely want be able to see that this color right there. And just gently going over that crease. I have been using this Wet n Wild flat brush. It costs like two, three dollars. It's amazing. So I'm gonna pick up that same color, but with this brush, I'm gonna go under the eyes. Sweet. Now I'm gonna pick up that dark brown that we were using earlier and connect that little corner. And with that same dark brown shadow, I'm going to grab this brush, place it right on the top lid, right on my hairline, and flick up gently. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be creating a wing liner, so this is going to be substituting that wing liner a bit. Lift those eyes a little bit. And remember this little brush that we were using? It should still have some product in there, so whatever is left, blend all of that together without adding any more color. I'm loving this. With a tiny little brush, something very small. This one's by Sonia Kashuk. I am going to get like a frosty color for my inner tear duct. Okay, I'm gonna go with snow. You see that color? Frost that up. Whew. And swoop it up. Swoop it up. Now, I'm going to be picking up this Italia Black Eyeliner and just going over my waterline. Whatever's left on your flat little brush, just smudge that liner down a bit. You know what? I think I'm going to intensify the top corner 
a tad bit and then just brush it out with this flat brush just to make it a little more drama Woo! I'm excited I think I'm going to go with the darkest color which is this extra saucy It dries up pretty quickly, and you know what? I think I'm gonna mix a little bit of this bittersweet red. It's like an orange red. I'm just gonna use a little bit just to bring out the red more. Right there. If you hear someone snoring in the background, it's, it's my dog. For those of you that don't like wearing lashes, I think you can get away with not wearing any for this look. I'm gonna spray a little bit of this Master Fix by Maybelline. Uh, my hair this is how I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave my hair like this <sighs> just don't want to deal with it but that's it um I am gonna be wearing a cute little gray sweater so let me go ahead and put that on so you guys can see the the final look all right so I have my little Santa sweater I don't think you guys can see the whole thing there you go and it says sit on my lap right on the bottom but anyways thanks for watching guys till next time bye